Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Stamping Up demonstration video. Um, I've been playing today, uh, making a few bits and bobs. I've got some things to make for some Stamping Up conventions that I'm going to. And uh, one thing that I came up with was these little toppers. Now these are really, really good and it's really good to make these in batch so that you've got them to hand because then all you have to do is... Um, Oops, I'm just dropping everything all over the floor. Then all you have to do is, you just have to have some card blanks. These are actually, um, I'm ashamed to say, ready-bought ones. But it just goes to show how fast you can do things. And you can just literally layer them on there and you've got a ready-made thank you card or a tag or if you're doing a little swap or anything. They're ready-made, aren't they? So it's good to have a batch ready-made. So what I'm going to do is just really quickly show you how I made these and what I used to make them. So we've got the colours that I've used uh, is, sorry, uh, Sweet Sugar Plum and that is the ink and the cardstock and then Whisper White. So we've got a very, very easy combination of colours. So this is something that you don't have to have loads of ink pads or loads of coloured cardstock. Um, if you're new to stamping up and you're building up your collection, same as I am, these kind of projects are what you want to be focusing on and practicing with uh, whilst you build your stash. So what I have used for the the background for the colour is I have used an old punch that I do have and it's this one. It's not actually a stamping up one but I have found an alternative in the catalogue and if you have a catalogue it is on page 193. Or if you're looking online, it is the Layering Circles Framelits die. And in this uh, collection you're getting 16 dies and they all layer. You know they're all different sizes. So like how you've got a layering effect here, you can use them for that. Okay, I haven't got that as yet. <laughs> so I am making do, having to make do at the moment with what I've got. So I have taken my alternative to the layering framework circle die and just punched out this shape now this happens to be two and a quarter inches but you can make your sizes however you want and but just go down in increments a quarter inch or half inch so that you've got a nice layered effect and then for the sentiment part I have used a stamping up two inch this one is two inch circle punch on white, just whisper white cardstock, so I'll just punch that out. Wind shot. <laughs> uh, like so. I'll just take that out. Now I'm just going to layer that on top of the coloured card so that you can see that one there and that one there, else you're not going to see them. Now what I've used for the sentiment here, which says send in love, is I have used the designer tin of cards stamp, which is this one. And it's brilliant because you are getting lots and lots and lots of different things within the stamp set. Lots of sentiments, lots of little fancy parts and uh, you just can't go wrong with it really. It's a clear polymer one, so it's nice and easy to see where you're stamping if you're a little bit uh, blind like me <laughs> and so I've laid it on a block now I really need to learn the name of these blocks these clear blocks there are different ones and the different sizes if you if you care to just take a quick look at them in the catalogue because these blocks they really do make all the difference they are the best um, so then I'm going to take my sweet sugar plum ink and I'm just going to ink up my stamp and I'm going to do my best not to get it on my cardstock I'm just going to stamp in the centre of that circle or you can stamp it on your card and then punch it out I find that if I'm batch making things it's easier to punch them out and then stamp on them that's just how I do it so that I can get the most out of my cardstock and I can really uh, you know stamp uh, punch out very close together sometimes with some stamps and 
um, chips and things like that. You need that little bit more space sometimes. With this one you don't. And then all you have to do is layer it up. I can now remove that piece of card. I don't want to get it dirty because I can use it again. And I'm going to use the Stampin' Up glue, which is Tombow. And it's actually really, really good. A really good glue. Um, and uh, really, really easy to use. Very, very sticky. And uh, very user friendly indeed. I'm just going to put that onto my scallop cutout and try and make sure that it's sort of central, sort of even, so that them scallops on the edge are nice and even. Okay, there we go, that'll do for me. And then I did do a little butterfly. This is using the Bitty Butterfly Punch, which is the smaller one. And the Papillon Potpourri <laughs> uh, stamp, which is a bit of a mouthful. And do I have the box out? No, I don't. I've used this one here. It's got like a flowery pattern on it. Let me go and get it. Where's my box? Very, very, very unprepared. I do apologise. I've lost the box. No, I haven't. It's here. I did have it. I did have it to hand after all. So there we go. It's this one here, which is like a little flowery pattern. And I love, love, love this stamp set. I use it all the time. And I was lucky enough to get the um, punches that go with it. So that every time I do them, I can punch them out nice and neatly. So I'm going to use a bit of... Uh, I've got some scrap. I'll use this bit of scrap here. I'll just move these out of the way. And I'm just going to gently ink it with this sweet sugar plum and just stamp on this piece of scrap. You always get lovely results with the Stamping Up punches and um, the Stamping Up stamps. <laughs> is the word I'm looking for. Stamps, Amanda. That's what you're selling. Stamps. And <laughs> the word escaped me then. And then you just line it up very carefully. Am I in shot? Yes, I am. And you punch it out. Now, one extra thing that you can do, just to, I just like it myself. Um, and it comes from having used the Tim Holtz Distress Inks. I love inking the edges of things so that you don't get this white edge. So I'm using the Stamping Up sponges, which you can buy. You cut them into pieces, get your money's worth out of them. And then just flick. Just flick. And it may go a bit further than just on the edge. It may go on the actual card itself. But it gives a, a nice faded blended in sort of look to your butterfly and that's all you need to do I'll just bob that out of the way and then what I do is I just get my two thumbs there and I just bend it up like so just gives it a little bit of dimension so that it's not completely flat and then I get my mini glue dots and I just put my thumb in the middle press it down on the mini glue dot and then pull it back off a bit like you pretend you're waxing your leg <laughs> perhaps and then just where you, I've got the swirl here for sending love that's where I've attached the butterfly so it looks like it's flying up from the sentiment and it just looks really pretty and then what I've done to just finish it off if I can just zoom in a little bit more and just pray that it doesn't go out of focus I'm using the Wink of Stella this is a must buy if you if you are purchasing from Stamping Up you know treat yourself to one of these as well they're not overly expensive well i don't think they're overly expensive for the effect that you get with these they're awesome i put it on everything it's a bit like ketchup it goes with everything and what i've done here is i've just put a tiny line just down the center you don't need a lot because it's so sparkly and so pretty just a tiny touch is enough and I'm just going around the edge of this butterfly with it. And what it also does is, if you do it when your ink's still slightly wet, it will kind of blend in with your ink and give it a, a bit more of a, a blended, smudgy effect, if you look at. 
and it just adds to it and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really carefully just go on the inside of that heart there and just like I'm painting it painting it in there you go and it's just the tiny touches like that that will make something that could just be a plain plain stamping into something a little bit special because it's got a lovely sparkle to it and then what I do is I do a set of maybe three or four probably four because I like things to be even and I would pack them up nicely uh, perhaps send them as a gift as part of a swap or as I say keep them to hand and you can very very quickly make up your cards and your tags thanks for watching I hope it's helped I'll leave a link below so that you can shop for these products directly with me Thanks for your time. Bye for now.